now let's talk about the constant volume gas thermometer now in this the volume is a constant value the the volume does not change so first of all let us look at the schematic of the whole thermometer okay now there are two arms arm a and arm b in both the arms you have a liquid called mercury so this black colored hatching is mercury okay you have a flexible tube which is you know wrapped around these two arms making it a u tube manometer so this is a u tube manometer okay now there is a marking on this arm b which is mark l okay then you have a capillary tube which is c and a glass and a gas tube which is d now this gas tube has a constant volume of gas inside it okay now what happens is this arm b needs to have the mercury up to this level only that is up to mark l now how do you maintain that you maintain that by varying the height of this column when you vary the pressure you know the height of this uh, column would vary okay so in this the thermometric property the thermometric property is not volume is not height but it is pressure it is pressure okay now how do you measure temperature with this thermometer so when the temperature value of this gas bulb increases the pressure inside will increase okay so this will try and push the mercury level downwards so you will have to increase the pressure over here to keep this mercury level up till mark l only so this is how the pressure change or this change in property will indicate that there is some change in the pressure in the temperature happening okay so this is how you measure temperature with the help of a constant volume gas thermometer in which the thermometric property is pressure okay so if i have to measure the pressure over here let us at mark l or at this level so pressure is p which is a combination of atmospheric pressure plus rho g h okay so this is the atmospheric pressure and this is the uh, pressure due to this height or this column of mercury okay now how do we calibrate it so initially what do we do we keep this bulb this constant volume bulb in uh, you know uh, water bath which is at the triple point of water okay so first of all we maintain this gas tube at a triple point of water a triple point temperature of water is equal to let us say 273.15 kelvin okay so when you maintain this temperature for this constant volume gas your corresponding pressure would be attained okay so this corresponding pressure that you attain is ptp now you can very well measure ptp by uh, you know from, from this particular uh, you can say equation now now we have found out the pressure at the triple point of temperature now let us say after calibrating it that is after putting it in a bath at triple point of water and measuring the temperature ptp that is the pressure corresponding to the triple point of water now we get this gas tube in touch with the system for which we have to measure the temperature and let us say the temperature to be measured is capital t all right and let me indicate this as ttp that is temperature at triple point of water okay now how do i find out the value of t now we have the value of p this is how we can find out we have found out the value of triple point pressure now the value of t can be found out by implying this equation which is capital t is equal to 273.15 that's the triple point temperature of water into pressure that is this pressure at mark l upon the triple point pressure so this is how you measure the temperature with the help of a constant volume gas thermometer in which the thermometric property is 
depression. So the change in pressure would indicate a change in temperature. So I hope you understood this uh, small video on constant volume gas thermometer. Now let's move on to the next kind of thermometer and talk about a thermocouple.